Hi, I'm going to be talking about Indiba Active and the treatment of plantar fasciitis with our fascia tools. So how does Indiba work? Well, it delivers um, an electric current at a frequency of 448 kilohertz, and that's really specific to Indiba. It's unique to us. The current passes from an active electrode through the body and returns into the neutral electrode, which is the return plate. The effects of Indiba are that we get faster healing, so accelerated healing. But also we have a biostimulation um, application and a thermal application. So what is fascia? Well, fascia is an interconnected, uninterrupted three-dimensional uh, tissue. It attaches, stabilizes, encloses, and separates all body um, structures, such as the muscles and the organs. So it interweaves in between them, and it gives support and protection to these. So how does Indiba fascia work? Well, our method of work follows the theory of myofascial chains by Thomas Myers. We have resistive electrodes that are ergonomic and you can adapt to all body um, structures. So as you're working, you can choose the best uh, tool to use. And um, through the electrodes combined with the Indiba current, you get much better results with the treatment overall. So some of the effects of Indiba fascia. We can release fascial adhesions. We know that we can um, increase connective tissue and muscle elasticity. We get an increase in skin temperature, which enables us to get a decrease in pain. And we also get a decrease in muscle spasm as well. So plantar fasciitis, the pain is usually on the sole of the foot. We get localized pain in the heel area, often just where it comes off the um, bottom of the foot. We get inflammation in that area. Often it's worse in the morning on getting up. People struggle to put their weight through the foot. And there's often quite a lot of stiffness around that area. So limitation of, of movement in the foot as well. And often people will be limping or have a, what we call an antalgic gait. So what are the effects that we can have? Well, we can decrease the pain on the sole of the foot. We can also relax the foot muscles improve uh, the support of the muscles underneath the foot as well because we're um, improving the production of collagen. We can release the restrictions in that area and especially with the fascia tools so we get better mobility so you're walking it will improve. Okay so I'll show how um, just some of the techniques that we can use with fascia to treat uh, plantar fasciitis. So with the Indiba device, we always use um, gloves to make sure that the current isn't passing through the therapist's hands and all the current is directed and focused on the patient so we know what we're delivering as well. It's really important. So we always start with um, the capacitive electrode on a patient um, just to prepare the area. So that's that superficial heat that we generate. And then we can move on to the fascia tools, so instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization tools and these are really ergonomic for use so we will firstly just get ready this is our neutral electrode which is the return plate and this can be placed in two areas really when you're working with the foot so you can place it underneath the thigh or you can place it underneath the abdomen it's completely up to you depending on what you want to treat just lift up that's it and down. Okay. So with um, treating plantar fasciitis, you want to release the tissues above as well. So you can release the uh, connective tissue down in, into the calf and then start working directly on the actual problem areas. So I'm going to just show you a quick preparation. <laughs> of the calf, so how you can use these tools. So they're really ergonomic in use, in design. You can even just do basic warm up and start taking the tissue down towards where the problem area is. So releasing um, all of this into the heel. And then you can easily interchange on the same lead onto a different tool. 
So very quick during treatment. And again, you can start preparing the area. Do more focused treatments. So if you can also use them on top and really focus that treatment down. So um, taking the um, tool down towards where the restriction is on that fascia in the foot. And then we have a third tool, even more focused. So if you, if you really do have um, pain on that bony spur of the heel, this is a really focused um, electrode head. You can see how small that is there. And again, you can work really, really closely on the bottom of the foot. Okay. There are contraindications to using um, Indiba fascia tools. And this is uh, the extensive list of those, which includes all of the contraindications that would normally be for instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization, as well as the couple that are just for Indiba itself, which are the pregnancy and pacemakers. Um, so this is just specific to fascia tools contraindicated. And you can find more information at indiba.com forward slash en.